For 50 years, the Harry Krishnas have been part of Oxford Street life, on Oxford Street even. Today, the organisation is marking its half centenary doing what it's known for, putting on a colourful spectacle in the heart of London and sharing food. Jo McDermott reports. <laughs> If you're a Londoner, you get used to seeing unusual things in the street. The daily procession by Hare Krishna devotees counts among them. To celebrate 50 years of the movement, based in Soho, they started the day giving out cupcakes to commuters at stations. Plenty of food and chanting, but there's more to it than men in orange robes with tambourines. Bajal works at a top accountancy firm. What you will find is there's a whole range of people who are my age, who are working professionals, who have families, who, who do the normal things in life, but actually they are also committed to their spiritual practice. It's vibrant, it's colourful, and, you know, it's fun. <laughs> if you'll never see them, you know, on the procession on the streets, not with a huge smile on their face. And I think that is what people associate with Hare Krishnas as well, that they're happy people. But not everyone greets them that way. We've had one man recently, you know, God, I was crucifixed and was like, no, you're burning in hell, you're going to burn in hell. And giving us all of that. It was quite a public scene. You know, it was quite aggressive, a little bit nasty. Um, you know, but somehow or other we're not really affected and we just continue because we know we're doing the right thing. It's absolutely fine. I think they're a pleasure to be around. I love their little marches. <laughs> usually see um, people in suits, they look quite boring, so to see something like that is quite entertaining. It's great, I mean, every time I'm annoyed at work or I've got something on my mind, I walk past here and you can't help like giggling go, you know, it's really good, it's nice to see that they're always really happy. They hope they'll stay a part of London for the next 50 years. Lively and loud. Uh, Joe, thank you very much.